Good morning. <laughs> we have number 12 on our podcast series, Clear Dell from Goa. Hi. Welcome to my Goa. 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 We chose her because she's from Goa. That's the only reason. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who cares about Goa? sentence Mandi is trying to make the Indian handicrafts export worthy. Very nice. Yeah. So, so. And did you have like a real job before you did this? No. Um, I mean before I was married, yes of course. And then I Then she got a real job, she got married. <laughs> <laughs> it's like more than a full time job. Kids and two success. I mean, you know, of course. Ah, it, I, How old are your kids? The ten and seven. Okay. Two cool. girls. Yes, I also have two girls. Girl, Girl power. power. <laughs> um, so you had two kids and then you're like, I want to start a business. Yes. So we moved. I mean, my husband had a transferable job. So we moved to Goa because of that. And before that, I've been in touch with different artisans. And when I went to Goa, it was like, wow, it's a melting pot of different uh, nationalities. And what was offered to them, and a lot of people come to Goa because they say, okay, I'll come to Goa, and then they go back, and that's what they think. Goa is India, which is not. We know that. Uh, so, but what was offered to them to take back was nothing much. So, you know, it's Kashmiri stores and little trinkets. And so that's where Mandi was born. And we started off with a quaint store, and we had people coming in. It was a six to eight month seasonal store. But the kind of, uh, the feeling that you get when you sell, like, you know, you I even had domestic customers coming in and what is this they would ask and where is this from? Is it from like out of India? And I had to actually tell them the story. Okay, this is from Swan's so place, this is how it all started. You know, the reason why the particular design is in a particular way is because of this particular custom. And it was fascinating. So the story was so fascinating even, I mean, you know, as Indians we do not know so many of our cultural, you know, like crafts or yeah. nuances. We don't. So, because a lot of it is dying, a lot of it is like you know. So, so Clarel, how many how many uh, folk uh, artisans have you connected with so far, and from which parts of uh, India have you stuck to Goa? You know, if I were you, I'd only be in Goa, and <laughs> ever. Me too, right? So, so the the best part is I am. I mean, we operate from Goa, so I you know I I've converted a little uh, room into my office. But my artisans are around 250 plus from different parts of India, wow. right from the Bodo weavers in Northeast, all the way to the Ayurvedic uh, fabric weavers in the South of India, to you know the Rajasthani. Of course, that's the more famous art form. To uh, I don't know, uh, to the Bihari Sujani embroidery artwork, which is dying right now, uh, to the shadow puppetry, which you know, which I, frankly Indonesia is doing a better job of you know keeping it alive. The shadow puppetry. Yeah. What is that? Shadow puppetry is a little, uh, you know, it's like what you and I do behind the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Who's pulling my string now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yanking the chain. <laughs> I'm the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what's the dream? The dream? The dream is to make artisans uh, more independent. So that they are able to go on to a chat or onto the online platform and operate it themselves and be able to sell to the international Very global nice. platform. That's which is awesome. what's happening now, right That's now. That's awesome. To yeah. being the largest platform. Right? Yes. To being the largest platform where there's the most amazing potential. There, and there's no real reason why you know you can't get an artisan from Peru to be yeah. on your side. So kind of creating that global marketplace yes. for Folk artists, yeah, indigenous, yes. crafts. indigenous of crafts. course. Yeah. Because right. it's a big word, indigenous. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> indigenous. Like my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> She's smart. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, no, that, that's so true. Because right now, one of the biggest hurdles. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, girl power! <laughs>